hi guys welcome to burns and the beat if you're new here please like comment share and subscribe and if you're all about goodies thank you for staying tuned to your girl well story come to bump you remember the chairman for the jcf that they fired arlene mcbean well she's taking legal action and i figured that was what she was going to do because they removed her without real reason as to why they removed her but let's get into the story it says corporal arlene mcbean the policewoman who was removed as chairman of the police federation in january is taking legal actions against the organization in the lawsuit mcbean is claiming that she was illegally dismissed from the post <clears throat> <coughs> Excuse me. She is being represented by attorney Hugh Wild Wildman. Those who are sitting in the Federation as chairman and general secretary are doing so illegally, Wildman told Loop News. The vocal police corporal who was last year became the first female to head the body that represented the rank and file members of the Jamaica Constabulary Force was replaced in January following a non-confidence motion. The decision came following a set of extraordinary meetings with delegates of the body. And I'm happy that she's actually taking legal action because I feel like she was a fear ch chairman she was the chairman that actually got Jamaica's government to agree to get given the JCF officers a higher wage so I felt like she was actually doing her job but she was very vocal as far as certain stuff are concerned whenever the JCF members would mess up and viral videos would go out there she would always have something to say and she would always try to do it in a politically correct way but she would also give them a flag in also and say that they need to be professional and whatever so i feel like because she was a vocal chairman and she wasn't submissive and she is in a primary area that is dominated by males okay so you know when men egos come into play they try to take things in their, to their own hands and sometimes it doesn't go over well and in this case it's definitely not going to go over well because she is taking legal actions and i can't blame her for that because they removed her illegally without any real reason as to why they remove her it wasn't because she wasn't doing her job it wasn't because she had disciplinary actions against her it wasn't because she did something on social media and it went viral and it made a jcf federation and the jcf organization look bad they just removed her because they didn't like her and i don't know if it's because she's female but an article came out a few days before she got removed saying that the jcf are very sexist and they don't allow female officers the same recognition as they do the male ones and recently like there was over oh. and recently my battery died so i had to switch up my battery recently there was over a hundred jca jcf officer that graduated and there was only one female officer that graduated. I feel like the roles are not balanced. I feel like there's no equality in that. How are you going to have like over a hundred male officers, but one female officers. And that's why a lot of times in the JCF, the female officers get sexually harassed by their counterparts or their peers and they can't do anything about it because it's dominated by males and 
there's this sexist thing that goes on within that organization already so they don't have anybody or anywhere to turn to that is a real issue that i feel like jamaica government need to address and another thing somebody pointed out to me recently that we should know that the females in that organization is not being treated fairly because the JCF women officers are still wearing skirts and it's 2019. Everywhere else in the world that have a police organization, they wear pants. But in the JCF, they're wearing skirts. So you can't properly do your job in a skirt. You can't run. You can't jump over a fence. You can't do any of that stuff. So basically, they're going to put the female in a position where they have to be in an office and they can't really contribute to making Jamaica a better society. And I feel like if they're going to put them in the JCF, put them in the JCF because they can actually do their job and not because you want to say, oh, we have a few JCF officers and we want to look good for the people and the media and say we are equal. I feel like they can do just as a good of job as the male. That is just my opinion. Comment what your thoughts are in the comment section. Do you think that Arlene McBean is going to win this lawsuit that she is doing against the police federation and the jcf because they illegally remove her and what do you think about the scales not being leveled as far as female and male jcf officers do you think that they need to be wearing pants just like the males and do you think they need to be on the front lines just like the males also and not stuck in a cubicle in an office doing office work if they actually hired them to be an officer comment what your thoughts are in the comment section don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one deuces